Last year we were flying drones around the loft a lot and at liberations and we learned a few things while flying the drones in the air with the birds and uh, we had a, quite an idea of maybe hiring a helicopter because we're seeing a lot of helicopters flying around the falls with the tourism industry and we found that the birds are quite used to the helicopters because we get daily helicopter flights over the, the loft and while the birds are exercising. So we decided to, to hire a helicopter to follow the birds from one of our training flights. So on 26th of April we hired the helicopter and we decided to go out onto the liberation site. And uh, my expectations from, from Pigeon Fancy the point of view that it's always been on the ground with the birds at the liberation is we actually thought that the birds will orientate for a minute or two and uh, do a few laps around the truck and then find their way home. In reality what we found was after liberating the birds they came straight out the truck, the ones on the left made a half a circle and the ones on the right came straight out in the direction of the falls and they never hesitant to go either left or right, they were straight going towards the falls. After releasing the birds, I expected that uh, the loft, actually the majority of the birds, will, will stay together in one group, at least for the first five or six or whatever kilometers. And uh, like we would expect that the slower ones will, will fall behind and they will break up into smaller packs. And that was completely not the case. They broke up into smaller groups of 100 to 200 birds and they all went in the same direction. And it was quite interesting to see that they were in the same line but all flying at the same speed in the same direction but they didn't stay in one group, they all broke up into smaller groups. So in each of the big groups there was a few birds that clearly took the lead and uh, after flying for a few kilometers we could see that there was clearly birds that started struggling and falling behind. But the interesting part was they didn't fall behind the pack. They didn't go into the slipstream of the main group. They started falling off to the side. And we could have seen one bird clearly struggling. And after a while he was joined by a few others. And they at the end formed their own little group that flew at a, a slower pace on their own. So when we got near the falls, um, one of the, the groups that we were actually not forming. It was unfortunate they were on the other side of the, of the helicopter. So in the group that was attacked by the hawk, there was about 100, say 150 birds. And the interesting part was uh, the hawk went right through the group and, and I could at least see about six birds that went into trees onto the ground. And those birds were completely out of it. They, they didn't, immediately didn't know where to go. And uh, that might be a reason why we're losing birds on short tosses or short exercises like this, is that they get attacked and they would go onto the ground and they won't find their way back or may get injured and they won't come back to us.